Good morning, everyone. All right, let's take up Mr. Wilson. We have some things going on with your case, 19SC168093. Or Kez Wilson appears in front of a Fulton County judge this past February, more than four years after charged with murder. Emily Gilbert is his sixth court-appointed attorney. It is a lot of attorneys over four years, yes. Wilson says he's innocent, so his new attorney is pleading for the judge to force the Georgia Public Defender Council to provide her with an investigator to properly review the case. The state agency is responsible for representing people accused of crimes who could not afford an attorney. Wilson faces life in prison without parole. Uh, and I'm asking the court to comply with the um, Constitution um, and allow Mr. Wilson to have um, an effective attorney that will include an investigator. It helps me understand the lay of the land in the case. It helps me understand, you know, what certain witnesses are going to say or not going to say. But I can't advise him intelligently if I don't have an investigator to assist me uh, in a case that th that's this serious. The Defender Council said no. They agree Wilson needs an investigator but their attorney says the agency shouldn't pay for it. We're just arguing that it's not the correct procedure in this case. What was your reaction? To be honest, I, I wasn't surprised because this, is, this has been my experience. Why wasn't she surprised? Gilbert resigned from the Defender Council in 2021 after working there for a decade, writing in her resignation letter that I can see no end to the persistent lack of urgency about adequately staffing this office and compensating our investigators. She's now a contract attorney for Fulton County, which created its own public defender program last year because the Defender Council could not retain or hire enough attorneys to represent people languishing in jail for months without representation, including Wilson. I was deeply concerned about the direction of the agency. Her frustration echoed by other former state public defenders who left their jobs over the past two years due to lack of resources. Things like paper, pens, right. envelopes. I couldn't find folders for no. a long time. They took away everything. They told us we would have offices and they're like, oh no, just kidding. No offices. Gilbert says her request for an investigator is an attempt to level the playing field in an already imbalanced system up against the resources of the Atlanta Police Department and the district attorney's office. According to one report from the Department of Justice, 40% of all county-based public defender offices had no investigators on staff. A statistic that caught John Oliver's attention in 2015, highlighting challenges facing public defenders. That's 40% of lawyers forced to sit at their desks Googling where to get exonerating evidence and hitting I'm feeling lucky. Back in court, the judge sided with Gilbert. It's the Pub Georgia Public Defenders Council's responsibility by law to provide those services. Ordering a reluctant agency mandated to represent the state's most vulnerable to provide the required resources her client needs to get a fair shake. The state has it, the DA has it, my client should have it too.